Welcome to Talk Back. Some call him a billionaire who was never a Jayala. Some call him a Jayala who sold out to become a billionaire. Salman Tasir. What a great introduction. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome to Talk Back. Uh, Governor Saab, almost a year, more than a year in office. Year and a half. Ten years almost of uninterrupted growth, a business empire, the Tasir Empire. Yet we see you back in politics. Why? Well, I was always, uh, I spent a lot of my life in politics and uh, I took a, a break to try and do something which I felt was uh, constructive. I wanted to build media, I wanted to build entertainment, I wanted to build uh, telecom. And uh, then, to be quite honest, uh, President Zadari asked me to become the governor and I took up the offer. But. Governor, and I went to it. I went into it like a duck goes to water. <laughs> that's that's fine. Uh, duck can go to water. The big question is though, um, you weren't around when your presence was needed in democracy during I was, ten. I was I was around. Believe me, when nobody else dared to be around. Ten very critical years. You did not run for two elections. I ran for the '96 election. I'm talking about the Musharraf era. No, I was out of politics then. Then why the re-entry? Why, why the re-entry? Because I was asked by President Zadar. And you, want, you came and served at the yeah. pleasure of the President. As, as, I, as I do at the moment. But the big question is, sir, the big question is that since you've been in power, now let's look at the last year and a half in perspective. Since you've been in power, I was just talking to an expert, a Lahore-based journalist this morning. He was giving me a brief about you. And he said, listen, everybody loves Salman Tasir, but to a certain extent. His views a lot of people agree with but he's too brash. He's a brash cowboy instead of a regal statesman. The thought is right, the execution is wrong. You know, the world is full of these Mothbir regal statesmen. Uh, Mr. Bhutto was never a regal statesman. You have to be natural. You have to be what you are. People are too smart these days. When you try, and everybody tries to become Kaidiyazam when they come into, uh, you know, position of power. No, but nobody's so asking I prefer, you. I prefer to be natural, to be honest, because to be quite honest, you know, I go. I don't really. Uh, I'm not. I'm not desperately in need of a job. That's fine. So as far as I'm concerned, I think part of the role has to be to say what you want to say, and to be fearless about it. That's fine. Fair, being fearless is fine. But you are, at the end of the day, you're supposed to be a representative of the state. There's a uh, degree of decorum. There's a degree of. Uh, um, I so guess I, I should say, have worn a suit. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a tie. The suit is fine. But I'm just saying that this is what I have. Uh, same journalist quoting you, qu quoting about first, this First, morning. where is he? Uh, <laughs> I can't disclose the location, but very nearby. Viceroys have been more subtle than Salman Tasir. Viceroys have been more subtle than that, you, sir. That was then, and this is now. This, this is not an era of viceroys. I, I want to make something like like uh, the office of the governor, a very, uh, what I call an Awami uh, position. I don't want to make it into look like something, a Nawab, or to look, make it look like something out of the reach of ordinary people. I don't know if you know this, but every day I open, the governor's house is open to hundreds of poor students, to uh, handicapped children. They go around here, they're in the lakes, all over the place. Nearly every day, I have hundreds of people here. I don't restrict entry. I have workers, I have MPAs, and I prefer it like that. That's fine, but I'm talking about public perception here. A few days ago, there was a quote of yours uh, on live television. Um, <laughs> you were saying, and you were referring to that so-called uh, minus one formula. And you said, yeah, uh, there's no uh, minus one formula. The next formula is a minus 342 formula. That's the next one. Now. Your views are your views, that's fine, that's fine. But my thing is that, is that becoming language? Is it becoming of the governor, of the governor house, of the great province of Punjab, the epicenter of Pakistani politics, saying okay, the next formula is minus 342, effectively, what I'm practically saying is that promising you, the dissolution of parliament. Sir. No, I didn't say that. I said that if you destroy the office of the president by minus one, you will destroy the entire democratic structure. I didn't talk of disillusion, and I didn't mean of, uh, did, I didn't talk of dissolving the assembly. That was not what I said, and that's not what I meant. But was it, 
you didn't answer my question though. Is it becoming language? Why not? I can give a political position. But don't I people can say what what I think is 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 a. That's fine. I mean, if if you want to attack the office of the president, it's not just one office you attack. You, atta you attack the entire political system and the democratic structure which we have built up with great difficulty over a period of time. So if you keep trying to attack the office of the president, you you will bring the whole structure down. See, this is the thing. Fine. So I said it. Own. I said it in a nice way. You, you're, nice way. <laughs> Minus three forty-two. Well, saying the whole, that the, whole thing the government is going to go. Everything All right. will go. Well, see, my thing is your views are your own. Fine. You're in the office. Say what you want to say. You've been put here not just because of anything else, but probably because of your views as well. No, the I'm, bottom a, line I'm, is, a, I'm a political governor. I'm the first governor that has been appointed by the People's Party. That's fine. After nobody's so, challenging that, but don't so, people get more radicalized in this in this era? of already polarized politics don't people get more radicalized no don't Why? you think this is widening widening no, the rift not at all i'm in fact i'm in fact giving an early warning system to people by telling them that they should be careful this is a democratic structure which we have built up with a lot of struggle with a lot of difficulty and let's not destabilize it okay now speaking of stabilization that's fine speaking of stabilization another big um, um, i guess you could say another snipe at you all right, from your supporters. Can't we have something nice about me? <laughs> we, we'll get there, we'll get there. It's a slow build up, that's how I work it. But a snipe at you by one of your supporters, once again, is that what are Salman Tassir's tactical gains for the PPP in the Punjab? I am not in the position where I can, this is the job of the provincial government. My number one position was to keep the People's Party alive and strong in Punjab. And that is something which I feel I have accomplished by just by contacts, by by building up the party people, by keeping the party positions, by discussing, by working but with the governor, cabinet, with governor, everybody go, else. But governor, and right I, I work and I work. Whatever I work through is the people party ministers in Punjab. But are your ministers empowered? Because the papers don't say so. Are your ministers as are, empowered as they are? Is all we have. I'm. This is. It is not a people's party government in Punjab, so it's not the same thing. Neither am I the Khan of Kalabagh, who was again running it as the big boss of Punjab with all the power and the danda with him. Can you make a claim today, a year and a half in office, doing what you have done, that you can deliver Punjab to the PPP for the next election? Are you confident? I think we will deliver Punjab, yeah. You think so? Absolutely. Despite the partisan rift you've created? I haven't created any partisan rift. There was a partisan rift to start with. All right, let's take a short break here. You're with Salman Tasir at the Governor House in the Punjab. We'll be right back.